Hi everyone, my name is Gabby and I'm a data analyst for BT Provider. And today we're going to build a table. I know, right? <laughs> we're not very keen on tables, but from time to time we need a bit of detail in our data. So let's see if we can build a table with showing um, subtotals as a percent of total by using only one measure. In order to do that, as usual, we'll connect to the Superstore data that is available to us from Tableau. We'll need to have two calculated fields for that, which I already have here. So we need one for size. Um, this will just give us the, um, it's just the size function available in Tableau. And this, it's also a table calculation. So it will return the number of rows in the partition. And additionally, we'll need this calculated field, which is measure for sales, which says like, if the size is one, then please do the sum of sales. Otherwise, uh, calculate the percentage of sales. So we'll need these two calculated fields. And now let's make a table by bringing category and subcategory onto rows. Um, let's bring month of order date. So let's take order date and bring it onto columns. We'll select month. Okay, and on text, let's put, bring the sum of sales for now. Good. Uh, now we can add the totals from the analysis menu. So analysis totals will show the column grand total. We'll show the subtotals, which we need to do. These are our purpose of the day. And let's make sure that we'll add them um, on top. Okay, so we have grand totals and totals on top. Now let's bring the measure for sales on text. This is what we need. And basically this is a nested table calculation that we will need to use by making sure that both of these measures compute using the specific dimension by category. That's what we need. So we'll do it for, for measure for sales and as well for the other table calculation, specific dimension by category. Okay. Now that we've done this, we can remove the sum of sales. We just needed it to add the totals and the subtotals. And we can see that we have the data. It's just that we have a bunch of zeros for the totals here. That's not a problem because we can easily solve that by formatting this. So how we format is we want the default pane as currency. So we'll do numbers currency. Let's make without any decimal point. Then we will like the totals to be displayed as percentage. This is what we've been, maybe add one decimal point. And the grand total, which is this one, doesn't really make sense as a percentage. So let's do the currency as well, like zero decimal point. Okay, we can use dollars for currency. All right, so now um, we can see the totals here. Let's just maybe do another little formatting for total. Instead of displaying total, we can select uh, percent of total. Okay. So now we can see the percentage of each category. Uh, th this is the percentage each category contributes to the total sales. And that's it. We've, we've made as well the percentage and the currency just by just using this measure for sales. So thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.